In this video, we're going to show how to use table-driven simulation in Anvil. Anvil can be used both to generate the tables and to replay tables to simulate a device. I'll start by showing how to create a table from within Anvil. To do that, we need Anvil simulating data. So I'm going to use the automatic simulation mode, which is demonstrated in another video. I start simulation here. And now I want to capture states and store them in a simulation file. To do that, I go to Tools, Generate Simulation File. I'm going to take the default name and store it on my desktop. Save it. I'm going to name it Column 1. I'm only going to save my measure ends. Now I can create additional states by saying add column to simulation file, name that column, Let's see the last one was one, I'll name it two. And continue creating more states. If I want, I can go back and recapture a state. To do that, I can do Tools, Overwrite Column. So I'm going to grab the current state and put it in Column 3. So I just edited Column 3, rewrote Column 3 with new values. So now we have a simulation file. Let's take a look at it. The simulation file is simply a CSV file. I'm going to open it in Excel so that it's easier to read and expand out my columns. So here we have a simulation file. Each column represents a notable event or a specific time and each row represents a specific data attribute. So when we apply simulations we'll apply a column of data attributes and apply them all simultaneously. So let's look at how to do that in Anvil. First I want to stop my automatic simulation so that my table driven values aren't overwritten. Then I will go to Tools. If I did not already have the file loaded or open, I could choose Load Simulation File. In this case it's already open because I've been generating it and adding columns to it. So I can just apply the simulation file and I'm going to apply Column 1. When I do, Notice the data attributes are updated with the values that were captured in column 1. You can also apply each column as I choose. When we go to apply column 3, we'll see that those values are the ones that we used the second time we captured column 3 when we overwrote it. Then we can go back and apply column 4. And of course these columns can be applied manually in any order. Now another nice feature of Anvil is the ability to play back the simulation file using the timestamps that were captured. If we look at the file, we see here our first data point was captured at 1102.49 basically, and the next at 1103.06, which is about 17 seconds. And then the next one was captured 1103.16, so approximately 10, 10 10.7 seconds after the next one. So now, let's play back that simulation file in order. I'm going to play simulation file, select my file. Column 1 was applied, and in 17.126 seconds, column 2 will be applied.
then column two is applied and approximately 10, 10.6 seconds later column three will be applied. And then another 8.832 seconds column four will be applied. So as you can see, table-driven simulation is very powerful for simulating a device. You can capture the table using simulated states in Anvil, or you can even use Hammer and capture states from a real device, create the simulation file, and then Anvil can play them back. You can apply states manually a column at a time, or you can use the playback feature to automatically change values based on the timestamps in the simulation file.